Peep for me. Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. A Geo what? Look, plants ain't my purview. You're better off asking after Adelaide. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Much obliged. If 
you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobaccorn tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? I can't say I blame you. Reed is positively soporific. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. He would do such a thing. Question is, why would you agree to his plans? Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. Trust you will listen to your conscience. Oh, that's Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery.
process. Oh, 
clever. <laughs> oh, in incoming. The control room should be off to the right. I hope we're doing the right thing. Here we go! Unexpected noise.
switches. That'll be easy enough. happen to Miss McDevitt's folk if we send power to the Vale? Something you need? Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. I didn't expect it. Send the power to Miss McDevitt. What happens to the veil? Oh. 
Once we do this, there's no going back. Excuse me, ma'am. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you, do you understand what you're about to do? If you're sure, I just, I had to ask. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. 
Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil, and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? You killed my garden, destroyed my community, sentenced my flock to a lifetime of slavery in Edgewater for a power regulator. Well, shit, I wish it was personal. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. As long as Reed is still in Edgewater, I will not return. Those are my terms. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. Whoa, <laughs> Miss Parvati. <laughs> hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. Uh, hello. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so... Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I'm just along with this lady here. I've seen you wandering around here. You don't look like you're coming from town. Never heard it phrased in such a way before. I guess we're all trying to get our ships off the ground, ain't we? Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying. To everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. Would you? I'd be grateful. I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. I mentioned those manuals on mechanical engineering. Suppose if I had one of those, I could go back to read and make a real case for myself. Marauders can't see us in the dark. Wild canids, on the other hand. The matter's been weighing on me. Fact is, 
I can't go anywhere long as Zoe's missing. Disappeared without a trace. Marauders took her, I suspect. I go looking for Zoe, I leave the camp undefended, seeing as I'm the only one of us who knows her way around the gun. Hence my dilemma. Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. Could be. Dangers are plenty out there. No telling why marauders would steal somebody like Zoe. Got no useful skills, far as I can tell. Marauder gang just moved into the districts a little ways east. Their numbers are growing. Gotta come from somewhere. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Appreciate it. Honest. 